All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 12. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using rulers uh, to measure the lengths of particular shapes and then find the perimeter. And what's really cool about this, parents and teachers, is that uh, perimeter in this lesson is going to be something other than just a rule, just a, oh, you just measure, you just add the outsides. It's, um, it's going to be meaningful because the students are actually going to use rulers, they're going to measure the sides, and it's really going to be a, like a physical kinesthetic way for students to internalize what it is to be a perimeter. And um, so let's get started on this. So parents and teachers, this is the kind of the classic old school textbooks would just give a triangle with the ants with the measurements already written in and then say, what is the perimeter? And the kids are like, well, there's three numbers. I don't know. You can't multiply three numbers, so we probably add. And so it's a really kind of, you know, and then over here, it's like, uh, what's the perimeter of this rectangle? And oftentimes they would include all four sides. And so the students are, it's like this visual hint that, oh, I'm supposed to add because there's four numbers. Um, so what this is doing is really causing students to say, hey, what is perimeter? Oh, it's where we trace our fingers down the, or around the figure, and we want to know the total distance around the figure. And so to really emphasize that, we're going to use a ruler, and they've asked us to use the centimeter side, because it says so right there. And so... Uh, right here. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to use our ruler and okay, so that's about three and then this is about four and then this is about five. So three, four, and five, that's kind of <laughs> convenient. And so we can write down three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters for a total of 12 centimeters. And then the idea is you could do the same thing over here. So this length right here is about six, and then this right here is about four, and since it's a rectangle, we know that this is going to be about six, and this is also going to be about four, kind of re, um, I don't know, reinforcing the meaning of rectangles, right? And so we know that, oh, okay, so it's going to be four plus six plus four plus six, and really, I should include the label centimeters, like over here, but I'm kind of zipping through here and we're going to say well that equals 20 centimeters and what's really fun is Eureka is giving us these funky shapes as well to further really reinforce what is perimeter. And perimeter is best reinforced when you have funky shapes and you can't use some sort of simple formula or you can't, um, I don't know, use the visual clues as a, you know, visual image as a clue to what perimeter is. This, you just kind of have to know what perimeter is, and it's the distance if you were to trace your finger around the entire shape, what is the distance? And so we're going to have to measure all of these sides, and of course we're going to use our ruler over here, but I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to kind of show you that, oh, okay, there's a length, and this is a length, and this is a length, and we're going to just kind of measure all of these lengths here. And then what's this one right here? Okay, that one. And then measure this one. And then the idea is uh, to help our students keep track of the lengths of all the different size, sides of our figure. And really, if you think about it, let's see. This is going to be one length and then two lengths and then three lengths and then four, the fifth length, the sixth length, the seventh length, and then finally the eighth length. So, oh my goodness. So we're, we've got a lot of measuring to do. And uh, so that's, that's kind of the idea. And we're going to let our students go ahead and go do that. And the last question we're going to talk about on this one is really kind of a backwards question. Uh, question in that this time they give us the answer 32 centimeters is the perimeter or at least Jamal says 32 centimeters is the perimeter now their task is well let's use a ruler to see if we should agree with Jamal and we know that we have what appears to be four sides 
that we have to measure. But actually, since it's a rectangle, we don't have to measure four sides. We could just measure this side times by two, and then we can measure this side and times by two, and then add those two together. And why is why is it that? Well, because this red and this side over here are going to be the same. So that we just measure one red and then times by two. And then the same thing down here, that this is a blue length and then this is a blue length. So you could do blue length times two. So really, kind of a, I don't know, I just thought of this, a kind of a formula. You could say two times the red length plus two times the blue length. That's, that's one way you could do it as a shortcut. And that wraps up kind of an engaging lesson. Grade 3, Module 7, Lesson 12. Students are using rulers to measure the lengths of figures and using those measurements to find the perimeter.